Glass shapes our urban landscapes, but have you ever considered how it's made? Glass is a special material that connects interior and exterior environments while protecting us from the elements. But how pivotal is it to a building's energy efficiency? Let's talk to the experts at Guardian Glass, a Coke Industries company. So Jim, tell us where we are right now in the plant. Yeah, Melissa, we're at Guardian Industries. This is a, the Carlton float plant located in Carlton, Michigan. It's one of the largest float plants that Guardian owns. You know, it's amazing to see this process up close. Tell us a little bit about what Guardian is and its significance to the industry. Guardian is a global glass supplier. We produce for residential, commercial, a wide range of products for our customers. And you're going to see this product throughout the world. So we want to make sure it's a high quality product. Jim, outside, I saw all these piles of broken glass. What is that? We reuse all of the broken glass. Not only does that help our process, but it also lowers our cost to produce glass. We're standing in the hot end near the furnace where it can get north of 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit inside, but raw material is melted into molten glass. Well, early crafting of flow glass was a very arduous process very high in defects and very inefficient. Yet this still requires a good amount of energy. Undoubtedly, but it does use half the amount of energy that we did early crafting for flow process, yielding 10% of the defects of what we did prior to that. This is just the beginning of the process where we're taking the raw materials, melting them, getting it into a taffy state, eventually going down to a pool of 10 where we start forming the glass, ultimately down to the cutting system and cutting it for our customers. So we've seen it melted into molten glass. Where are we now in the process? So the next step that we're passing right now is the tin bath. This is where you get the name of the float process because both glass is floating on a bed of tin taking the glass and forming it to the proper thickness and the proper width that's desired for our customers at the end for packaging. It's a continuous ribbon of flow. It runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And what's so awesome to see is this is a large sheet of glass. We're able to cut it down to whatever the customer requires us or what their needs are. We can produce north of 20 miles of glass in 24 hours. We're at the lower line right now. This is where, once the ribbon gets to this point, we're actually cutting and trimming the glass to the precise size that our customers would like to stand at. This is where we produce our commercial coatings, which you can see aesthetically throughout the major cities and metropolitan areas. When we get to the coder, which we're coming up to right now, this is the only jumbo coder for Guardian Industries in North America. So it's really exciting to have this operation here and in, in be in the state of Michigan. This is awesome to see, this innovation at work, and we're standing inside the coder building right now, right? That's correct. This process takes up about 100,000 square feet in this building. This is where a lot of the transformation takes place. You can see we're, we're taking raw glass that we produce off our flow line, and it's running through the process right now to where it's going through a polisher and a washer state before it enters our coating process. Coke's philosophy of relentless innovation while using fewer resources is evident in Guardian Glass's low E products. Hey Brent. Hi Melissa. How are you? Good, great to meet you. Hey, thanks for having us here. Absolutely, welcome to the Science and Technology Center. It's a lot cooler here than it was over there. It sure is. <laughs> Tell me about the range of products you make here. It's really a very wide variety. Not as it just glass for residential applications or commercial applications, that means skyscrapers, schools, uh, hospitals, but also things like interior applications like the glass that protects the Mona Lisa mm -hmm. is Guardian Glass. This center is really about experimentation, innovation, and really pushing the limits of what we can do with glass. And I bet it's pretty neat to see these ideas transform into these tangible products here. So talk to me about some of those coatings that we were gonna to get to, that low E. 
low E coatings or low emissivity coatings, they reflect infrared energy. That infrared energy is what keeps things hot or cold. And so by reflecting infrared energy, we can reduce the amount of transfer hot to cold or cold to hot and improve the energy efficiency of buildings. Buildings consume 40% of the world's energy. That's through cooling, heating, lighting. All of those factors, right, are things that the glass we make influence. We're making millions of square feet of this product, so its efficiency is vital because that is a part of what we want to try to do. If we want an energy efficient future, that means we need to provide solutions that have a low cost. Brent, this has been fascinating. Thank you so much for explaining it all to me. I'm never gonna look at a building or glass the same way again. Fantastic. Thanks. Guardian Glass personifies Coke's commitment to driving continuous improvement while meeting customers' needs. From simple grains of sand to the windows we gaze through every day, glass is truly a marvel. At Guardian, it's more than just making glass. It's a commitment to design and environmental stewardship. And as I stand here today, surrounded by city buzz and this hub of education, it just goes to show glass is part of our everyday in more ways than one.